Occasionally, you may notice that the UV baseline on your NGC is unstable or noisy. Very often, the drift is due to insufficient warm-up time or bubbles in the flow cell. Either issue is fairly easy to fix. First, warm up the multi-wavelength detector for 30 to 60 minutes before use. The single wavelength detector requires no warm-up time. We recommend using a flow rate of 0.1 to 0.2 mils per minute and monitoring the baseline in manual mode until the baseline is flat before starting a method. Take any columns out of line and recirculate 100% methanol or ethanol through the system at purge speed. If the problem persists, it's very likely that air bubbles are trapped in the flow cell, causing the baseline to show a steady downward drift or even sharp spikes in the UV trace. To clean and remove bubbles from either a single wavelength or multi-wavelength UV detector, follow these steps. On the touch screen, select Shut Down on the drop-down menu to exit Chrome Lab and shut down the NGC instrument. Disconnect the inlet and outlet tubing from the UV cell. Using the screwdriver supplied in the fittings kit, loosen the two thumb screws holding the UV cell and push the flow cell to the right to remove it from the UV monitor. Verify that the square gasket is removed with the flow cell. Next, inspect the flow cell by looking through a window toward a light source. Any trapped bubbles should be visible through the window. The flow cell should be perfectly clear. If the flow cell is discolored, then the following step should work to clean it. If you see any cracks in the flow cell, you should replace the flow cell before proceeding. Prepare a solution of 2% Contrad detergent, or use BioRad Proteon Cleaning Solution 1, which is catalog number 176-4118. Using a syringe attached to tubing, inject 2 to 3 mils of the detergent into the flow cell and let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes. Then, flush rapidly with 10 to 20 mils of water. Return the flow cell to its socket on the UV monitor, ensuring that the two bolts on the cell align with the holes in the socket, and that the arrow on the flow cell is pointing to the left. The guides on the bottom of the flow cell will help you prevent inserting it incorrectly. Tighten the thumb screws and reconnect the quarter 28 fittings on both sides of the flow cell. Reconnect the tubing lines to the conductivity monitor and restart the NGC instrument. Your flow cell should now be free of bubbles and ready for your next run. If you have other questions about your NGC or any of your BioRad products, please write to us at support at biorad.com.